What's going on YouTube? Today's video, we're gonna revisit my version of CTE. On my previous video of my CTE, I had three object balls laid out and a cue ball. And the one ball was, was representing a quarter ball hit. And it's located on the first diamond on the short rail and the first diamond on the long rail. The two ball is representing a half ball hit and it's located on the first diamond on the short rail and the second diamond on the long rail. And the three ball was representing a three fourths ball hit and it's located on the first diamond on the short rail and the third diamond on the long rail. And the cue ball would be located anywhere on the long rail as long as it is exactly on the first diamond on the short rail. On my previous video of my version of my CTE, I also had a shield and it covered up the object balls. If you notice, if the cue ball is anywhere on the long rail but on the first diamond on the short rail and I went to the three ball and covered up only a quarter ball, this would represent your three-fourths ball hit. Now if we go to the number two and I cover half of the two, this is your half ball hit and this is how it would look like. And if I go to your number one and cover three-fourths of the ball and only expose a quarter ball hit and this is how it would look like for a quarter ball hit to the corner pocket. I got the number two object ball out and it's located on the second diamond on the long rail and the first diamond on the short rail to represent a half ball cut if the cue ball was anywhere on the long rail but on the first diamond on the short rail. This tape represents a straight end shot going into this corner pocket. We're gonna go ahead and replace the two ball with the number 10 ball so we can see the stripes. I also got my shield out and of course another cue ball to represent a ghost ball. So let's go ahead and replace this number two with the number 10. And if the cue ball was on the first diamond on the short rail and anywhere on the long rail, this cut shot will be a half ball hit. So let's go ahead and cover half of the object ball to represent a half ball hit. And to prove that this is a half ball hit, I'm gonna, rep I'm gonna be placing the ghost ball. And if you notice, this ghost ball covers exactly half of the object ball to make it into this corner pocket. And this shield covers exactly half of the object ball to make it into this corner pocket if the cue ball was exactly on the first diamond on the short rail. So what if this cue ball moves exactly just half a diamond on the short rail? Now you'll notice that the perception will be a quarter ball hit to this corner pocket. So if we move this shield, you'll notice this ghost ball is covering only a quarter ball of this object ball to this corner pocket. And we cover it back and we move this cue ball into the half ball hit. Covers exactly half. And what if this cue ball moves another half diamond up? Now your perception will be a three fourths ball hit. So this is your ghost ball. This is the shield. It covers only half, but the perception to, to make it to this corner pocket, you'll notice this ghost ball is covering three fourths of the object ball. And to prove that this ghost ball is directly in line to this corner pocket, we're gonna go ahead and move this cue ball another half diamond up, making it into the fourth diamond on the long rail, the second diamond on the short rail. And you'll notice you should have a full eclipse from your cue ball, ghost ball, object ball, to your corner pocket. I moved the cue ball on the short rail, moving it the half diamond up, up and down, and making different various shots. So let's go ahead and move the object ball and cue ball at the same time. So say we have this object ball and it moves along this track line, meaning that it moves only along this line. And this cue ball follows exactly the same path of this object ball. You'll notice that this will always be a half ball hit. As long as it is on this track line from this corner all the way to this corner and all the way to the second diamond on the long rail and the first diamond on the short rail on the opposite side of the table, it will always be a half ball hit. So as long as they are on the same line on the short rail, cue ball and object ball, it will always be a half ball hit. So to prove it's a half ball hit, I got the ghost ball and you'll notice half of the object ball is covered to make it into this corner pocket. I did a basic theory on my version of my CTE. To prove my theory, let's go ahead and try some of these shots out. 
I got the object ball set up for a half ball hit, for a half ball cut shot. As you can see, I got the cue ball, object ball, ghost ball, and my shield. So for me to do my CTE, I would aim the edge of the right side of the cue ball to the center of this object ball. As you can see, the shield covers half of it, so it makes it a half ball cut. And then I would aim the center of the cue ball to the edge of the object ball, making this a half ball hit. So for a shooter's per perception, as you can see, we will go down for the shot, aim the center of the cue ball to the edge of that object ball, and it should go into the corner pocket. Now I set up a cut shot where this is gonna be a core ball hit. Cause I moved the cue ball a half diamond towards the rail. So, and an object ball again is in the same location. It's on the second diamond on the long rail, first diamond on the short rail. So I still have the ghost ball as you can see. If for this perception, if we move this ghost ball, the shield is still covering half of the object ball. But we know that this is gonna be a quarter ball hit. So for, for me to aim my quarter ball hit, I would get the right side of this cue ball and aim it on this stripe. That'll be representing my A. And I would get the center of this cue ball and aim it at the center of where that ghost ball was. So for me to do this cut shot, a quarter ball hit to this corner pocket, it would look like this. I set up another cut shot. As you can see, I moved the cue ball about a half diamond up from the starting point of a half ball cut. And I left the ghost ball, object ball, and the shield. So if we look at this cut shot where the cue, where the cue ball is, if you notice that this ghost ball is almost covering three fourths of the object ball. If we move the shield and we stand behind it, you could almost see that it covers three fourths. So this tells me that this is a three fourths cut shot. The shield never moved. It's still covering half of the ball. But if we move this ghost ball and we line up to the shot behind the cue ball, I would, to do my CTE, I would aim the right side of this cue ball to almost where C is. And then I would get the center of the cue ball and aim it at the edge of this object ball. Between the edge of the object ball to the stripe where C would be, you would get your contact point. So that tells me where I need to hit this object ball to make it into that corner pocket. I set up another cut shot. All I did was move the object ball. So what the biggest thing is, say this cue ball has to land exactly where this object ball is on the short rail to make this a half ball hit. So if this is lining up exactly to the object ball, as you notice, if we go down to our shot, that ghost ball is covering half of the object ball. To make sure that this is exactly a Ghost ball hit, so this ghost ball should should eclipse that object ball, and which it does. But for this perception, this will be your half ball. If we move this cue ball, just say another half diamond, and then we look at our ghost ball, it almost covers three fourths of that ball. So this tells me this is a three fourths ball cut. If we move it this way, it goes back into almost a half ball hit. And if we keep going closer to the rail, 
if you notice, this is almost a quarter ball hit. So let's go ahead and move this to make it a three-fourths ball hit. So we look at this contact point and this ghost ball covering almost three-fourths as you can see, which it almost does. So for me to aim a three-fourths ball hit, I would get the right side of this cue ball, aim it to the C, and get the center of this cue ball and aim it to the edge. And between the edge and C will give me my contact point. And that tells me exactly where I need to aim to make it into that corner pocket. I set up another cut shot. As you can see, this is almost a half ball hit going into the corner pocket. But we all know object ball and cue ball never behaves. So we can get half ball hits throughout our whole game. So let's go ahead and move this object ball so it gets closer to the rail. And let's go ahead and move this cue ball where it moves closer to this rail. So for this cut shot, if I stand behind this object ball and look at it, to the corner pocket. This would tell me this would this area, this point would be the contact point into that corner pocket. So now we go behind our cue ball and this should tell me this is almost a quarter ball hit. So if we look at the edge of the cue ball and line it up to the C of the object ball and we get the center of the cue ball and aim it to the center where the ghost ball would be. And this should give me my quarter ball hit. And this quarter ball hit should make it into that corner pocket. I set up another shot, but this time we're gonna try a, gonna be a left hand, a left cut. So we're gonna go ahead and move this cue ball as the ghost ball. And this time we're moving the object ball again, closer to the rail. So now let's make this a three fourths ball hit, but with a left cut. So as you can see, if we look behind the cue ball and object ball, this will go into the rail. So we know if we aim this way, this is not a full ball hit, but if we aim over here for the contact point, this should tell me this is gonna be a three-fourths ball hit. So for a three-fourths ball hit with a left cut, I would aim the left side of the cue ball to the A of this object ball and the center of this cue ball and aim it to the edge of this object ball. And I get from the edge to the A, in the between it, right on the center, should be my contact point. So this contact point, as you can see, goes to that corner pocket. So let's go ahead and try that and try to make this object ball to the corner pocket. I did a brief explanation of my version of my CTE. Hopefully this video was informative. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Also, leave a comment down below and hit the like button. Thank you for watching and see you next time. So I set up another shot. As you can see, this is another half ball hit. But we all know that object ball and cue ball never lands perfectly, so it could be a half ball hit into the corner pocket. 
So let's go ahead and move this object ball. Say it lands over here. And let's say the cue ball lands over here. So we would go behind their shot and then we would look to see exactly where the contact point is. To look at this contact point, if there was a ghost ball, it would be over here. And from experience, I would look at this shot and I would notice this is pretty much another half ball hit. So for me to aim at this object ball, I would right, aim at the right side to the center of the cube, um, center of the object ball and the center of the cue ball, aim at the edge of the object ball and I should make it into that corner pocket. But since we've been doing all these half ball hits, let's make this a three-fourths ball hit. So again, if we look at the center of the object ball to the pocket, this tells us that's our contact point. And if we go behind the cue ball and we aim the right side of the cue ball to this where this would be C of the object ball and we aim the center of the cue ball to the edge of the object ball and you get the edge and the C and you get between it and this should tell us this is the contact point. We rotate, that's the contact point. If we aim at this spot of this object ball, I should make it into that corner pocket. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget to thumbs up. Bye bye. <laughs>